People who are most likely to use drones in the utility industry are going to be your linemen, your operators, your engineers. The introductory use case is really to replicate the operator rounds and get the operator to be on the ground where they normally would have to be up in the air or rappelling or in a bucket truck. The ability to see millimeter size or submillimeter cracks and in insulators, be able to see the really small things that you would only otherwise be able to see by putting the human eye as close as you can, well within minimum approach requiring an outage, the ability to do that is super valuable. In order for drones to be a good solution in law enforcement, it needs to have really great imaging. There's no point in having something that's not providing you with the best possible results. And so we need sensors that are giving us clear images of what is happening on the scene. We talk to our customers and say like, what's the hardest thing your camera system has to do? We don't go for like the low hanging fruit. We choose the hardest target and we aim at that when we're developing our cameras and testing our cameras. So like the hardware is designed to meet those requirements. The testing has made sure that we're hitting those targets or exceeding those targets and we don't really stop until we get there. Our next generation is the first one that we customize all of our cameras. And that's why in our next generation drone, we have three different user cameras, one with high resolution, one with large field of view, and one with a longer focal distance that we can see 300 meters away. The idea behind building camera module is you have a sensor and you have a lens, and if they're not in parity, then there's a limitation there. Like you have to have a lens that's capable of resolving the full power of the sensor. And so we had to design it and push our vendors to up the quality of their lenses and add you know, features and aspects to the lens so that we could really have a camera system that's in harmony between lens and sensor. It is very exciting because I've been through several iterations of camera build and I can see how much the camera improved from all aspects, from different build to the next build. Skydio puts a ton of effort into our tuning. We spend many, many hours, you know, fine tuning and tweaking, making very subtle adjustments to things like noise performance and sharpening. There's a very fine line of getting it just right. And we spend a huge amount of effort testing in the real world, testing in the lab to make sure that that comes out, you know, just how we'd like to see it. Specific use cases I too for like related to thermal, make sure like an inspection and situational awareness use cases if that, you know, they can be confident that the data they're getting is accurate. On the software side, like the Atlas SDK with FLIR really make the images detailed, clear, and also radiometrically accurate. We can actually see per pixel what the temperature is. Really excited to see what people say when they actually get their hands on it. Without the right sensor, it's really tough at two or 300 feet to see what's down there. And you really want to have a camera that like essentially puts you on the ground. It's going to be something everybody's been waiting for.